Welcome to Relation Tales. Please like this video and subscribe Relation Tales. William had always thought his life with Zoe was perfect. He woke up every morning next to her, their routines aligning like a well-practiced dance. They had been married for six years, each one built on love, trust, and mutual understanding. But lately, things had changed. It wasn't something he could pinpoint at first, just subtle differences, a strange tension in the air, awkward silences where laughter used to be. The distance between them was becoming more pronounced, and it gnawed at William every day. Zoe had begun coming home later than usual, her once regular 7 p.m. arrival now closer to midnight. The excuses she gave felt thin, extra work at the office, meetings running late. Each night, William found himself waiting on the couch, his heart heavy with uncertainty. Her demeanor had shifted too, becoming more closed off, as if she were guarding a secret. It wasn't just her words, but the way she avoided his gaze, the way her phone always seemed to buzz late at night, only for her to swiftly turn it face down. William had always trusted Zoe implicitly. She was his partner, his confidant, the woman he had built his life with. But now, Doubt crept into his mind like a thief in the night. What was she hiding? Why wouldn't she look him in the eye anymore? These thoughts plagued him, stealing his sleep, clouding his thoughts. He didn't want to confront her yet. The idea of her betraying him seemed too painful to accept. One evening, as Zoe entered the house with her usual excuse, late work meetings, William could no longer hold back. He sat on the edge of the couch, his heart pounding, and asked the question that had been tearing him apart. Zoe, he said quietly, his voice trembling with emotion. We need to talk. Zoe stopped in her tracks, her forced smile faltering. She glanced at him, then quickly looked away, busying herself by dropping her keys on the table. What's wrong, Will? There's something different about you. I can feel it, William said, his voice strained with the effort of holding himself together. You're not the same anymore. Tell me. What are you hiding? Zoe's eyes flickered with a hint of panic, but she quickly masked it. She shrugged, trying to appear casual. Nothing. I've just been really tired from work. That's all. William's heart sank at her evasive response. It wasn't just the words. It was the cold, detached tone that chilled him to the core. She didn't even try to reassure him. She turned and walked away, disappearing into the bedroom, leaving him sitting there with his questions unanswered. For the next few days, William's mind spiraled. Every interaction with Zoe felt like walking on broken glass. He tried to convince himself that it was just stress, that Zoe was overwhelmed with work. But the nagging doubts wouldn't go away. Her behavior didn't add up. Why was she so secretive? Why did she seem so distant? His mind raced with every possible scenario, each one worse than the last. Unable to bear the weight of uncertainty any longer, William made a decision that he never thought he would have to make in his life. He reached out to a private investigator. It was a step that felt both shameful and necessary, a move he wouldn't have even considered a few months ago. But now, it felt like the only way to get the truth. He met with Tom, the investigator, in a small cafe outside the city. Tom was a seasoned professional a man in his late 40s with the calm demeanor of someone who had seen it all. William felt uneasy, embarrassed even, as he explained his situation to Tom. But Tom didn't judge. He simply listened, nodding in understanding. Why do you think your wife might be cheating? Tom asked, his voice steady, not betraying any emotion. William hesitated, unsure how to express the storm of emotions he had been living with for weeks. I don't know for sure. She's just different. She's been coming home late, avoiding me when I ask her anything. She's always on her phone, but she doesn't tell me what's going on anymore. He paused, his eyes clouded with thought. I just need to know the truth, no matter how painful it is. Tom nodded again, taking a sip of his coffee. I understand. I'll start surveillance tomorrow. If there's anything suspicious, I'll let you know. The next few days were torturous for William. Each time Zoe left the house. His heart felt like it was being crushed under the weight of suspicion. Every moment of her absence was filled with agonizing questions. What if she really was cheating? What if everything they had built together was a lie? His mind played out scenarios over and over again, but no answer came. A week passed, 
William was sitting in the living room, the soft glow of the TV flickering in the darkened space, when his phone buzzed. His heart leapt into his throat as he saw a message from Tom. William stared at the screen, his hands trembling as he opened the message. It was short but devastating. Your wife just left the office with a man. They're walking together. William's breath hitched. His stomach twisted into knots. He didn't know what to think. Who was this man? Was it innocent? Or was this the confirmation of his worst fears? Before he could fully process, his phone buzzed again. They have just entered a hotel together. The words were like knives to his heart. William's world spun out of control as the reality of the situation crashed down on him. Zoe, his wife, was with another man in a hotel. The betrayal was real. All the doubts and suspicions he had tried to push aside were suddenly undeniable. He sat there, paralyzed, as his heart shattered into a million pieces. The woman he loved, the woman he had trusted with his life, was with someone else. His mind went blank, overwhelmed by the storm of emotions. Rage, heartbreak, disbelief, all swirling together in a maelstrom of pain. William's mind was in chaos. He could feel his heart pounding, the betrayal sinking deeper into his bones with every second. The message replayed over and over in his head. They've just entered a hotel together. The images it conjured were unbearable. Zoe, his Zoe, with another man. The woman he had spent years building a life with, sharing dreams, plans, and love, was now sharing her body and soul with someone else. It took everything in him not to break down. But instead of falling apart, William's emotions turned cold. His heartbreak twisted into anger, a deep-seated rage that made his hands tremble. He couldn't just sit there and do nothing. He had to see it for himself. With shaky hands, he sent a message back to Tom. Send me the hotel location now. I'm coming. Tom's reply came almost instantly, giving William the address to the hotel. Without wasting another second, William grabbed his car keys and rushed out the door, his heart racing faster than his thoughts. He didn't know what he would do when he got there, but he knew he had to confront Zoe. He needed to see the truth with his own eyes, no matter how painful. The drive felt like an eternity. The city lights blurred past him as his mind raced through every possible scenario. Who was this man? How long had Zoe been seeing him? Had their entire marriage been a lie? Every question felt like a fresh stab to his already wounded heart. But what hurt most was the realization that he had lost her. He had lost the woman he thought he knew. As William pulled up to the hotel, he spotted them almost immediately. Zoe and the man were stepping out of the building, laughing together as if nothing in the world mattered but each other. William's breath caught in his throat. There she was his wife hand in hand with a stranger. He couldn't move. The sight of them so close, so intimate, was like a punch to the gut. They had no idea he was watching, no idea that the life they were destroying was standing just across the street. He watched as they got into a car and drove away, leaving him behind with the bitter reality of their betrayal. In that moment, William felt the weight of everything crash down on him. The anger, the heartbreak, the disappointment, it all consumed him at once. But instead of chasing after them, he turned and walked back to his car. There was no point in a confrontation. He had seen enough. The truth was laid bare in front of him. And now, all he could do was decide what to do next. Zoe had always been the type of woman who wanted more from life. Her career had taken off in ways she hadn't expected, giving her a sense of independence and success that she craved. But with that success came new desires, new temptations. She loved William or at least she thought she did. But the life they had built together began to feel small. She wanted excitement, passion, and spontaneity, things that had slowly faded from their marriage over the years. She met Thomas, the man she was now seeing, through a work event. He was charming, bold, and everything William wasn't. He made her feel alive in ways she hadn't felt in years. What had started as innocent flirtation quickly spiraled into an affair, and before she knew it, she was caught up in a whirlwind of lies and deceit. Zoe knew it was wrong. Every time she came home to William, guilt gnawed at her. But she couldn't stop. Thomas was a breath of fresh air, a reminder that she could still be desired, still have fun. What she didn't realize was that Thomas wasn't in it for love. 
He saw their affair as nothing more than a game, a conquest. While Zoe had started to develop feelings, Thomas kept his distance emotionally, enjoying the thrill of sneaking around, but never intending to commit to her. Zoe had convinced herself that she could juggle both lives, the stability of her marriage and the excitement of her affair. But as William's suspicions grew, so did her anxiety. She started to make more mistakes, staying out later than usual, being careless with her phone. She knew she was walking a dangerous line, but part of her didn't care. The thrill of it all was intoxicating. When William got back to his house that night, he didn't sleep. Every time he closed his eyes, the image of Zoe laughing with another man replayed in his mind, tormenting him. He had seen enough. There was no going back now. The woman he loved had betrayed him, and there was nothing left to salvage. The marriage he had built was crumbling beneath him, and all that remained was the wreckage of broken trust. The next morning, Zoe called him, her voice filled with concern. Well, where did you go last night? I didn't see you when I got home. Are you okay? William hesitated, the anger simmering just beneath the surface. Zoe, I know, he said, his voice cold and distant. I saw everything. I saw you with him. There was a pause on the other end of the line. Zoe's breath caught in her throat, the panic setting in. Well, it's not what you think. I can explain. No, William interrupted, his voice sharper than before. There's nothing to explain. You betrayed me. You've been lying to me for months. Zoe's voice wavered. Please, Will. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to go this far. I still love you, I... Stop, William said, his tone cutting her off. You don't get to say that anymore. Love doesn't look like this. You made your choice, Zoe. And now I'm making mine. He could hear Zoe sobs on the other end of the line, but it didn't move him. Not anymore. The pain he had felt had turned to ice, numbing him to her apologies. I'm filing for divorce, he said, his voice steady. It's over. Zoe broke down, begging for forgiveness, but William hung up the phone. There was no going back. She had shattered his trust, and nothing she said could fix it. Now he needed to focus on rebuilding his life without her. Over the next few days, William moved swiftly. He contacted a lawyer and started the divorce proceedings. Every time Zoe tried to reach out, he ignored her. He didn't want to hear her excuses, didn't want to give her the chance to manipulate him into staying. The betrayal was too deep, and William was determined to regain control over his life. Zoe, on the other hand, was spiraling. The affair had blown up in her face, and the man she had risked everything for was already pulling away. Thomas had no interest in continuing their relationship now that the secrecy was gone. For him, the excitement was over. Zoe had gambled with her marriage, and now she had lost everything. Her husband, her lover, and the life she had taken for granted. As William cut her out of his life, Zoe found herself drowning in regret. She had thought she could have it all. William's stability and Thomas's passion. But now, she was left with nothing. She tried to apologize, sending William messages day and night, pleading for another chance. But William remained distant, cold, and unmoved by her tears. At work, rumors began to spread. People noticed the change in her demeanor, the way she seemed distracted and emotional. The whispers grew louder, and soon, Zoe's colleagues began to suspect what had happened. She was no longer the confident, successful woman they knew. Now, she was just another woman who had let her desires ruin everything. Thomas had distanced himself completely, leaving Zoe to deal with the fallout on her own. She was alone, isolated, and filled with regret. The life she had built with William was gone, and the excitement she had chased with Thomas had vanished as quickly as it had come. Now, all that remained was the cold reality of her actions. The days after William decided to file for divorce were oddly quiet. A silence hung over the house that used to be filled with shared laughter, conversation, and love. Now it felt like a tomb, a place where the echoes of what once was had died. Each morning, William would rise early, his routine a hollow reflection of the life he used to live. His mind was always somewhere else, trying to piece together how it had all gone so wrong. But as the initial shock of Zoe's betrayal began to fade, William's anger transformed into something else. Resolve. He was no longer the man sitting on the couch, 
waiting for answers that never came. He had made a decision. The hurt was still there, buried deep beneath his surface, but now it fueled him. It was time to take control, not just of his life, but of the way his story would end. He contacted a divorce lawyer, a sharp and focused woman named Karen who had seen cases like his countless times. During their first meeting, William laid everything out, the affair, the late nights, the lies. Karen listened carefully, taking notes, her expression impassive. When he was done, she leaned forward. Do you want to fight for assets, custody, or simply peace of mind? She asked. Her voice was steady, no judgment, just business. I want a clean break, William replied. She can keep whatever she wants, but I need to make sure she understands that there's no coming back from this. I want to make it clear that I'm done. Karen nodded. We'll make sure she understands. And we'll ensure that you walk away with what's rightfully yours. While William was busy strategizing his exit, Zoe was unraveling. The affair with Thomas had brought her nothing but heartache now. As much as she tried to salvage what was left, she quickly realized that Thomas had no interest in being with her long term. His excitement had faded the moment William found out. What was once an exhilarating escape for him had now turned into an inconvenience. Zoe's attempts to contact him became more frequent, more desperate. She texted him late into the night, just as William had once watched her texting, but this time the roles were reversed. Thomas's replies became curt, then non-existent. Eventually, he stopped responding altogether, ghosting her without a second thought. In the beginning, Zoe had believed that her affair would lead to something more, a fresh start, a new kind of love. But what she hadn't accounted for was the emptiness she felt after each meeting with Thomas. The growing realization that what she had with him was nothing compared to what she had lost with William. Thomas wasn't the partner she had once hoped he would be. He was never meant to be. He had filled a void for her in the moment, but the cost had been too high. Now, she was alone, filled with regret, facing a future where she had destroyed everything she cared about. Though William had chosen to avoid a physical confrontation when he saw Zoe and her lover at the hotel, his revenge was far from over. But instead of giving in to the rage he felt, William chose a different path, a quieter, more controlled form of retribution. He would let Zoe feel the full consequences of her actions, not through anger, but by erasing her from his life completely. He started by changing the locks on the house ensuring that Zoe no longer had access to the home they had shared for years. It was a symbolic gesture, but it made a statement. This was no longer her place. Every trace of her in that house was systematically removed. Her clothes, her personal items, even her favorite mug. Everything was packed into boxes and delivered to her without a word. William also began quietly spreading the word to their closest friends. He didn't go into details, but he didn't need to. People could sense something was wrong, and William let them know that the divorce was Zoe's doing. Her betrayal became known without him ever having to raise his voice. Soon, their friends began distancing themselves from Zoe, subtly but surely, making her feel the isolation of her choices. But perhaps the most painful consequence for Zoe came from the emotional coldness William now showed her. She had hoped that with enough apologies, with enough begging, she could win him back. But William was resolute. Every time she tried to reach out, he responded with silence or a formal acknowledgement that the divorce was proceeding. His indifference was worse than anger. It was a sign that he had truly moved on from her. Zoe had always been a proud woman, confident in her decisions, determined in her career, and at one point, assured in her relationship with William. But now, everything she had once believed in was slipping through her fingers. The life she had built was crumbling before her eyes, and she could do nothing to stop it. Her work life was no longer a refuge. As word spread about her affair, whispers followed her through the office hallways. Her colleagues' once friendly smiles were now replaced by awkward glances and whispered conversations. Zoe had never been one to care about office gossip, but now, with her personal life in ruins, every look felt like a judgment. She could see the disappointment in people's eyes, the way they distanced themselves from her. Even her family, who had once adored William, began to pull away. They had always seen him as the perfect son-in-law, stable, caring, the kind of man they had hoped Zoe 
would spend her life with. When the truth about her infidelity came to light, her parents were heartbroken. They didn't disown her, but their relationship grew strained. They didn't understand why she had thrown away a good marriage, and their disappointment was a constant reminder of her failures. At night, Zoe would lie awake in her empty apartment, haunted by memories of what she had lost. She would think back to her life with William, the simple mornings they shared, the way he would kiss her forehead before leaving for work, the quiet evenings where they would watch movies together. She had taken it all for granted, believing that there would always be time to fix things. But now it was too late. Her heart ached with regret. The affair with Thomas had been a fleeting distraction, a momentary escape from the mundane. But it had cost her everything. The man she had built a life with was gone, and the man she had risked everything for had abandoned her without a second thought. As the divorce proceedings moved forward, William began to feel a sense of freedom he hadn't experienced in years. The weight of suspicion, doubt, and betrayal had lifted, leaving him with the space to breathe again. For the first time in months, he was able to focus on himself, on rebuilding the pieces of his life that had been shattered. He threw himself into his work, taking on new projects and responsibilities that kept his mind occupied. But more than that, he started to rediscover who he was outside of his marriage. He reconnected with old friends, started going to the gym again, and even picked up hobbies he had abandoned during his time with Zoe. Slowly but surely, he began to heal. There were still moments when the pain of what had happened would creep in. The memory of Zoe with another man. The betrayal that had once seemed unimaginable. But with each passing day, those moments became fewer and farther between. William was moving on, and with every step forward, he found himself becoming stronger. One afternoon, after yet another legal meeting about the divorce, William sat alone at a cafe, sipping his coffee and watching the world go by. For the first time in what felt like forever, he smiled. It wasn't a forced or bitter smile, but a real one, a sign that he was finally at peace with where his life was headed. Zoe was a part of his past now, a chapter that had closed. He didn't need her anymore, and the life he had once built with her was no longer something he mourned. There was a new world ahead of him, filled with possibilities he hadn't even considered before. And as he sat there, watching the people walk by, William realized that he was ready for it. Zoe's world was rapidly shrinking. The affair, once thrilling and exhilarating, had left her with nothing but regret. Each day, she woke up in her now-empty apartment, the silence around her deafening. Every corner reminded her of what she had lost, her marriage, her reputation, her stability. She had tried to contact William again and again, leaving messages and pleading for just one more chance, but each time she was met with cold indifference. The wall she had built around herself to justify her affair now felt like a prison she couldn't escape from. Her phone became a constant reminder of her isolation. The calls from family had grown rare. Her friends had started distancing themselves, and Thomas had completely cut her off. He had moved on, discarding her like a forgotten memory. Zoe could hardly believe how quickly her world had fallen apart. The loneliness was suffocating. But in the midst of all this pain, Zoe still clung to one thing. Hope. She had convinced herself that she could still fix it. That somehow, if she just showed William how much she regretted everything, he might forgive her. She wasn't ready to accept that it was truly over. She didn't want to. The divorce proceedings were moving forward rapidly, but Zoe refused to believe this was the end. One evening, after yet another failed attempt to contact William, Zoe sat alone, staring at her wedding photo. It was one of the few things she had kept when she moved out of their house. She traced her fingers over the glass, remembering the day it was taken. They had been so happy then, laughing, joking, utterly in love. How had it come to this? How had she let herself destroy something so beautiful? She couldn't sit in her guilt any longer. Zoe decided that she had to make one last effort to win William back. She couldn't bear the thought of living without him, without the life they had built together. That night, she wrote him a long letter, pouring her heart out, apologizing for everything she had done, explaining her fears, her regrets, and begging him for a chance to make things right. William sat at his desk one afternoon, sorting through the final paperwork for the divorce. 
The lawyer had been efficient. Everything was moving quickly. In a few more weeks, it would all be over. His marriage would be officially dissolved. He was ready, or at least he thought he was. But as he sifted through the documents, he noticed an envelope with his name scrawled across it in Zoe's familiar handwriting. For a moment, William's heart skipped. He hadn't expected anything personal from her. They had been communicating strictly through their lawyers, and every message he received from Zoe was related to the divorce. But this letter felt different, more intimate. Against his better judgment, he opened it. The letter was long, filled with Zoe's raw emotions. She apologized profusely, not just for the affair, but for how she had treated him in the months leading up to it. She admitted to feeling lost, overwhelmed by her own desires, and insecure about their relationship. She confessed that Thomas had meant nothing to her in the grand scheme of things, and that the affair was a foolish, selfish mistake born out of her own misguided attempts to feel something new. I'm not asking for things to go back to how they were, the letter read, but I'm asking you to at least give me a chance to show you that I can be the woman you married again. I want to start over. I want to prove to you that I can change. Please don't let this be the end of us. William's hands trembled as he read the final lines. The anger that had once burned so hotly within him had cooled, replaced by a strange sense of numbness. He hadn't expected this level of honesty from Zoe. For months, she had lied to him, evaded his questions, and betrayed his trust. But now, here she was, laying it all out in front of him. Part of him wanted to believe her. He had loved her once, and deep down a part of him still did. But could he ever trust her again? Could he ever rebuild what she had so thoroughly destroyed? The next day, William decided to meet Zoe face to face. He didn't know if he would forgive her, but he needed to see her, to confront her with everything he had been feeling. He sent her a message, let's meet, tomorrow at two. We need to talk. Zoe, who had been on edge for weeks, leapt at the opportunity. She didn't hesitate. This was her chance. She had been praying for a way to make things right, and now William was reaching out to her. They met at a quiet park, far from the chaos of the city and the prying eyes of people they knew. When Zoe arrived, she was visibly nervous, her eyes puffy from crying, her hands shaking. William stood tall, arms crossed, his face expressionless. As soon as she approached, the air between them felt thick with unresolved tension. Thank you for meeting me, Zoe said softly, her voice barely above a whisper. William nodded, but he didn't say anything at first. He let the silence sit between them, watching her closely, trying to gauge whether her remorse was genuine or just another attempt to manipulate him. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, he spoke. I read your letter, he said, his voice steady but distant. Zoe's eyes filled with hope. Well, I'm in every word. I know I've hurt you, and I don't deserve your forgiveness, but please, just... William held up his hand, cutting her off. I need you to understand something, Zoe. You broke me. You broke everything we had. And it wasn't just the affair. It was the months of lies. The distance. The way you made me feel like I was nothing to you. Zoe looked down, her heart sinking. She had known this confrontation was coming. But hearing William say it out loud made the weight of her actions unbearable. I don't know if I can ever forgive you, William continued. I don't know if I'll ever be able to look at you the same way again. You took something from me, my trust, my love, and I don't know if I can get that back. Tears welled up in Zoe's eyes. She had prepared herself for this, but the reality of William's words hit harder than she expected. I'm so sorry, Will. I know I've destroyed everything, but I love you. I never stopped loving you. Even when I was doing the worst things, I just, I lost myself, and I don't know how to find my way back without you. William shook his head. Love isn't enough, Zoe. Love doesn't fix betrayal. It doesn't erase the pain. Zoe's tears fell freely now, her voice trembling. I know it doesn't, but please just give me a chance to try. I'll do anything. I'll go to counseling. I'll quit my job. I'll move, whatever it takes. I just want to make things right. William looked at her, his face softening slightly, but there was still a distance between them that Zoe couldn't reach. You want to make things right for you. You want to ease your guilt. But that doesn't change what happened. There was a long pause as William considered his next words. Finally, he sighed, his voice weary. Maybe in time, 
I'll be able to forgive you. But right now, I can't. Right now, all I see when I look at you is everything we lost. Zoe broke down completely, her sobs echoing in the empty park. Please, well, please. But William simply shook his head again. It's over, Zoe. I'm sorry. He turned and walked away, leaving her standing there, broken and alone. Zoe watched him go, her heart shattered into a thousand pieces, realizing for the first time that this really was the end. There would be no second chance, no redemption. She had lost him, and nothing she did could change that now. As William walked away from Zoe, a sense of finality washed over him. He had said everything he needed to say. The chapter of his life that included Zoe was closing, and while it hurt, there was also a sense of relief. He wasn't walking away in anger anymore. He was walking away with a new understanding of himself, of what he deserved, and of the kind of life he wanted to build moving forward. He drove back to his house, his house now no longer shared with Zoe. It was quiet, but this time, the silence didn't feel oppressive. It felt like peace. William knew that healing would take time, that the scars from Zoe's betrayal wouldn't fade overnight. But he also knew that he was ready to move on. As he stood by the window, looking out at the world beyond, William felt a small but undeniable sense of hope. His marriage had ended in the most painful way possible, but it wasn't the end of his story. He had survived, and he would continue to do so, stronger, wiser, and ready for whatever came next.